क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन अ वन मीटर लॉन्ग वायर ऑफ डायमीटर पॉइंट थ्री मिलीमीटर वन मीटर लॉन्ग वायर डायमीटर जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वन मिलीमीटर एट रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ फोर पॉइंट टू ओ इट इज रिप्लेस बाय अनदर वायर ऑफ सेम मटेरियल सेम मटेरियल मीन स्पेसिफिक रजिस्टर सेम बट लेंथ इज वन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर डायमीटर जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव फाइव मिलीमीटर देन रेजिस्टेंस इज हाउ मच रेजिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला इज रो एल अपॉन ए R1 upon R2 will be L1 upon L2 into A2 by A1. R1 upon R2 is L1 by L2 into pi R2 square upon pi R1 square. Pi pi pi. So 4.2 upon R2 is 1 upon 1.5 into ratio of resistance or diameter is same. So zero point one five five upon zero point three one square. One five five double will be three one. So it will be two. That means four point two upon R two is one upon one point two into one by four. So R two is four point two into six. Six into two twelve twenty four and one twenty five. Twenty five point two option A. Now what is Yes, sir. Understood. डन सर नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन Wires A and B are of equal masses and same metal. Equal masses and of same metal are taken. Mass of A equals to mass of B. Same metal means specific resistance and density both are same. Diameter of wire A is half the diameter of wire B. Half the diameter. Resistance of A is twenty-four ohm. Find resistance of. Now same same metal, same mass. So we can find length relation for density. What is formula for density? Is it mass upon volume? Yes. So volume can I say area of base into length for a wire? So this is area. This must be length. So A into L is called volume. Correct? Yes. Sir. So, yes. Sir. Now so A into L is mass upon density. Mass is same, density is same. So this will become constant. That means can I say A one L one is A two L two? That means L one upon L two will become A two by A one. Any doubt? No sir. After this, 
रेजिस्टेंस इज रो एंड अपॉन एरिया सेम मटेरियल सो रो विल गेट कैंसर इज एल वन अपॉन एल टू इन टू ए टू बाय ए वन ओके तो आर वन बाय आर टू विल बिकम ए टू बाय ए वन इन टू ए टू बाय ए वन प्लीज कॉपी दिस मार्क डायमीटर ऑफ ए आर एवरीबडी कॉपी टू डे R1 is 24, R2 we want. What is diameter of A? Diameter of A is half. Yes. Of B, yes, this radius is also half. Of B, this I can cancel. So 24 upon R2 is 4 by 1. R2 equal to 6. Sir. Yes. Ta. R1 will be raised to four because they are square. Raised to four, yes, raised to four. One point five zero. One point five zero. Answer. After twenty one, which one? Question number twenty four. A wire of resistance R is. Elongated end fold to make a new wire. Elongated means stretched. There is one wire. It is elongated means stretched, na? No? Yes, sir. So wire of resistance R is elongated end fold. That means length is made n times of original. Correct? Yes, sir. N one is L. L two is made n times. Then what is the new resistance? Whenever wire is stretched, I have given you three formula: R1 upon R2 is L1 by L2 square, or A2 by A1 square, or radius R2 upon R1 raised to four. So this is R upon R2 is L upon N L square. Therefore, R2 is N square R N square R option B. Now follow. Yes, sir. Yes. Answer. After this, we come.
Thirty-nine. Thirty-four. Thirty-four, correct? Thirty-four is also important. So first time doing thirty-four, then thirty-nine. Anybody want more sum? Before thirty-four, any sum? Anybody wants before thirty-four any sum? No, thirty-three. Masses of three wires are in the ratio. Masses are in the ratio one, three, five, and length in the ratio five, three, one. Ratio of resistance is five, three, one. Ratio of resistance is. Three wires are made up of copper. That means their density is same, specific resistance is same, same material means density is same. So density is mass upon volume. That means area into length. Area is mass upon density into length. Now R is rho L by A. So R will be rho L. Area is m upon dm. So R is rho G L square upon mass. Rho G L square upon mass. This you have to remember. Rho D L square upon mass. Now I can take R one upon R two is L one upon L two square into M two by M one. What is L one by L two? Five by three. So L one by L two is five by three. Yes. And M two by M one three by one. Yes, sir. So which will become twenty five upon nine three by one. That is twenty five upon three plus three three by one. Okay, just copy till this. Then R two by R three and find. Done, sir. Good, sir. So first ratio R one upon R two twenty five by. R two upon R three will be L two upon L three square into M three upon M two. Clear? This also? Yes. Sir. What is L two by L three? Three by one. And yes. Three by M two is five by three. So nine upon one into five by three. That is fifteen upon one third. Sorry. So if I want to connect R one upon R two, R two by R three, then this fifteen and this three must be matching, matching. Yes, sir. Whenever you connect two ratios, so denominator or lower term of the first and upper term of the second should match, huh? Then only I can say if it is A upon B. B upon C, I can say A is to B upon C. Correct, na? No? Yes, sir. How to make that three x fifteen 
एपीएस फिफ्टी नाउ विल रिमेन मल्टीप्लाई बाय फाइव डिवाइड बाय फाइव ओके यस सर सो माय आर वन अपॉन आर टू इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव अपॉन फिफ्टी एंड आर टू बाय आर वन इज फिफ्टी अपॉन थ्री Now, can I take ratio? One twenty-five is to fifteen is to what? So R one is to R two is to R three. One twenty-five is to fifteen is to one. Option is there? Yes. Yeah. Everybody has followed this ratio connection. Yes, sir. Now you are doing extremely good work. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Oh. Are you eleven to ten? Are you going to come? Who is it? Total. Yes, sir. After this, you are telling thirty-four, and then thirty-nine. Thirty-four. Current density varies with radius as j equal to a r square. In a cylindrical wire, in a cylindrical wire. Of radius r, radius r, the current passing through the wire between radial distance r by three to r by two, between r by three to r by two, we want the current passing through this wire between this distance. J means what? I upon area. Correct. Correct density is current upon area. Yes, sir. So for smaller part, D I upon D A is A R square. So yes, sir. So D I will be A R square area D A. Now if I get DA means small elemental area. So suppose you cut one here ring of radius r, small r, and thickness d r. So what will be area of this radius r and thickness is d r? 
इसमें सुन रहे लोअर साइड का ऐसा इज इट टू पाई आर डी आर एरिया इफ यू कंसिडर स्मॉल एलिमेंट ऑफ रेडियस आर एंड हैविंग स्मॉल थिकनेस बी आर तो दिस एलिमेंट ऑफ स्मॉल थिकनेस विल हैव एरिया टू पाई आर इनटू दिस सी आर करेक्ट सो आई थिंक ए आर स्क्वायर एरिया इज टू पाई आर बी आर दैट मींस बी आई इज टू पाई ए आर रेस टू थ्री बी आर Now integration of bi is two pi a constant r cube dr. Integration of bi is i two pi a. What is r raised to three? Kind integration? Is it r raised to four upon four? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On from r by three to r by two, so i will become two pi a by four r by two.
Then you are saying some number thirty nine, na? No? Yes, sir. Assertion reason, wala. Conductivity of electrolyte is very low as compared to metal at room temperature. Conductivity means flow of charges. So conductivity is very low for metal conductor. Correct. Reason they say correct. Say correct. The number density of free electron is smaller than to number left on metal. Further, ion drift much more slowly. Both are correct. Option A. Thirty nine A. Mobility is small and electron density is small. Thirty nine A. After this, forty to forty five. Forty two. Till forty five only forty two. Yes. An electron of uh, electric cell of EMF is connected to the copper wire of diameter D and length L. Diameter D length L. Drift velocity of electron is given as V. If the length of wire is changed to two L, new drift velocity of electron in copper wire will be how much? Drift velocity. Is V D length is changed to two L. What is new drift velocity? What is I formula? Vina. Yes, sir. I nothing but drift velocity V Vina. But current is not known, so I will go by basic definition. Drift velocity equals to. I is potential upon R, which is theta. Potential is E upon length into R is theta. R is rho L by A equals to V na. E A upon rho L square is V na. A cancel हो जाएगा. So drift velocity will become E upon rho L square E L. I hope you followed. Yes sir. E is same, material is same, electron same, electron density is same for same material. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So my drift velocity ratio will be L two upon L one ka square. L two is made double of original. The so new drift velocity is V D one upon four. Option two. After forty-five till fifty, any some doubt? Sir, fifty.
मोबिलिटी ऑफ फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ चार्ज की मास एम रिलैक्सेशन टाइम टाउ इन मेटल इज प्रपोर्शनल टू फर्स्ट यू शुड नो मोबिलिटी का फॉर्मूला इट इज रेशियो ऑफ ड्रिफ्ट वेलोसिटी अपॉन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्रिफ्ट वेलोसिटी इज नथिंग बट एक्सेलरेशन इज यू प्लस ए टू इन टू टाउ अपॉन ई एक्सेलरेशन इज ई ई अपॉन मास दैट इज फोर्स अपॉन मास इंटू टाउ अपॉन एम टाउ अपॉन ई ई विल गेट कैंसर सो ई टाउ अपॉन एम ई टाउ अपॉन एम किधर है ऑप्शन ए After fifty, fifty one to fifty five, which comes out for fifty three. Fifty three some number. Every atom moves, makes one electron in copper. So they are telling one atom is equal to one free electron in copper. If one point one ampere current is flowing, current of one ampere is flowing through the wire whose diameter is one millimeter. So the I is one point one. Pardon? I current is one point one. Diameter ten raised to minus meter. Then the drift velocity will be how much? Drift velocity. density of copper is 9 into 10 raised to 3 and atomic weight of copper is 63 na atomic weight Contains six point zero two three into ten raised to twenty three atoms. Correct? No, that is called Avogadro number. Yes. Sir. So one atom is giving the one electron. So this many atom will give this many electron. So can I say number of electron I got? Six point zero two three into ten raised to twenty three number of electron. Now density is mass upon volume. Density is given in kg meter per upon meter cube. Because this is in kg, so it's for 10 raised to 3 or karo. Then this is kg per meter cube. So volume equals to mass. Hello. Yes. Mass means we have taken atomic weight, na? Huh? Yes. Density equals to mass upon volume. 63 upon volume. Volume is area into length. No, directly volume will get because density is given. So 63 upon 9 into 10 raised to 3. Number of electrons per unit volume is n. That is 6.023 into 10 raised to 26 upon v 9 into 10 raised to 3. Now tell what is drift velocity? It is I upon n A E or not? Yes. Sir. You know I given one point one. N V calculated six point zero two three into ten raised to twenty six 
upon will go up 9 into 10 raised to area is pi sir 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 there is some error in the volume you took for uh, n error in volume i took for n what is error so 63 by 9 into 10 raised to 3 it will be 7 into 10 raised to minus 3 so same no 63 upon 9 is uh, what, what mistake it is same now sir below below you took 9 into 10 raised to 3. 7 into 10 raised to minus 3 i will I here I took only this much 7 into 10 raised to minus 3. So 7 into 10 raised to minus 3. Okay. Now area is pi r square. So 22 upon 7. R means half of diameter. So half of 10 raised to minus 3 square into e is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 9. Copy it in there. See if atomic weight is in gram, then 10 raised to 23. We have taken kilogram, therefore 10 raised to 26. Okay. Sir. You completed it in there? So. Yes. Any of you can recollect this drift velocity how much? 10 raised to minus 4 meter, na? Hello? Drift velocity is 10 raised to minus 4. So our answer yes, must come close to 0 0.1. Let us check whether it will come or not. After simplifying this, 
So genuinely, you all have tried the sum. That's why you are asking. The only those sums which is actually doubtful. Thanks. So this is eleven into seven into ten raised to minus four. This seven will go up. Here I get six point zero two three ten raised to twenty six into twenty two into one by four into ten raised to minus six. Any other possibility of cancellation? Into one point six into ten raised to minus nine. Eleven into two. Eleven into This is two into two, so two will go up into forty-nine into ten raised to minus four upon six point zero two three into one point six into ten raised to minus sixteen minus nine is minus twenty-five minus twenty-five and plus twenty-six is minus one. So this will be ninety-eight into ten raised to minus three. Is sixteen into six is ninety six. No. Sixteen into six is ninety six, ma'am. No? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Minus nineteen minus twenty five. Twenty six minus twenty five plus one. Plus one goes up minus three. ये decimal सा कुछ बढ़ गया है. Otherwise it will it is हाँ हो गया बराबर है. Ninety-eight. This is close to nine point eight. This is minus five. So I will get one upon ten into ten raised to minus five. Nine point eight into ten. So ten raised to minus four meter, which is point one millimeter per second. Option A. Important is remembering atomic weight contains Avogadro number of atom. If weight you take in gram, then twenty three power kilogram, then twenty six.
Dancer. Dancer. Now from fifty five, uh, fifty six to sixty. Fifty seven. And then, that's it till sixty. Only fifty seven till sixty. The voltage current characteristic of a device is given by V equal to forty square. What is resistance when current is one ampere? What is resistance when current is one ampere? So voltage is V B upon four I square. Four I square. Dv upon di will become eight i. Okay. Yes, sir. This is only resistance, na? Because it is flow from that graph. R is eight i. I is one ampere. Eight ohm is the answer. Option. Yes, sir. Then from sixty-one to sixty-seven, which doubt for sixty-one to sixty-seven? Which one is doubt? No doubt. Sixty-one, no, sir. Sixty-eight. Sixty-nine. Any doubt? Sixty-eight, sixty-nine. Any doubt? Come on, be fast. No, sir. Then seventy to seventy-five. Seventy. 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 Variation of conductor with resistance is shown in the figure. Temperature coefficient alpha is how much? What is alpha defined as? Alpha is defined as what? One upon R zero rate of change of resistance with respect to temperature. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. And if I dt from the graph, is it slope? This is slope, na? R and T ka graph me. Yes, yes sir. sir. How much is slope given? M. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Slope is given. One upon R zero into M. M upon R zero is given in D. Good sum, beautiful sum here, boss. Option D. Done, sir. Then some number uh, till seventy five only. This is doubt. Seventy six to eighty. Seventy six to eighty. No doubt. Seventy six to eighty. No sir. Eighty one to ninety. No sir. Ninety one to one hundred. Ninety five. Two cities are one fifty kilometer apart. Two sixty are uh, two cities are one fifty kilometer length. Electric power is sent from one city. To another city through copper wire. Potential per kilometer. Potential per kilometer means per unit length, which is in kilometer is eight volt. So total potential for one fifty kilometer will be one fifty into eight volt. This is first part you understand. And resistance per kilometer means per unit length. Length is in kilometer. Is point five. 
तो टोटल रेजिस्टेंस फॉर 150 फिफ्टी किलोमीटर टोटल रेजिस्टेंस फॉर 150 फिफ्टी किलोमीटर विल बी वन फिफ्टी इंटू पॉइंट फाइव आर इक्वल्स टू सेवेंटी फाइव ओम्स ना पावर फॉर्मूला इज बी स्क्वेर बाय आर बी स्क्वेर बाय आर इज पावर वन फिफ्टी फिफ्टीन इंटू एट इज वन ट्वेंटी सो इट इज वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड इंटू वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड अपॉन आर इज सेवेंटी फाइव ट्वेल्व इंटू ट्वेल्व वन फोर्टी फोर इंटू वन टू थ्री फोर जीरो अपॉन सेवेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू थ्री ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू फोर हंड्रेड थ्री इंटू फोर इज ट्वेल्व रिमाइंडर टू थ्री इंटू एट इज ट्वेंटी फोर फोर इंटू एट थर्टी टू सिक्सटीन एंड थ्री नाइनटीन तो नाइनटीन पॉइंट एट इंटू टेन रेज टू थ्री वॉट दैट इज नाइनटीन पॉइंट टू किलो वॉट नाइनटीन पॉइंट टू किलो वॉट ऑप्शन बी दिस फॉलोड वोल्टेज पर यूनिट लेंथ की वन मीन्स पर किलोमीटर This is also good. Done sir. Done sir. Now till hundred ninety six two hundred. Any doubt? Ninety six two hundred. Yes, no doubt. No sir. One zero one two hundred and ten. One zero one till hundred and ten. No sir. No, I think you have not reached till hundred and ten. That's why you are telling no sir. Have you reached till that some hundred and ten? Yes sir. Hundred and eleven to one fifteen. Any doubt? No doubt again. I think. Sir, so not reached. Pardon? Not reached? No sir. At least not me. Sir, so then two hundred some in two days. How you are going to reach till that? Sir, one hundred and fifteen to one twenty five because either the government target ka. One twenty. One twenty. Please stick to the planner. Extend your boundaries. One twenty. Three bulbs. Of rating two hundred, two hundred, four hundred are shown in the figure. Resultant power will be how much? One bulb, two bulb, third bulb connected across battery. We want resultant power. Two hundred watt. Two hundred, two hundred, four hundred. Two hundred, two hundred, four hundred. Resultant power. You don't directly add, huh? It will give you wrong result. What is power formula? V square by R. Okay, one is that. Second one. I square R. I square R. That is also correct. Third one. V I. Correct. V I. So we want resultant power of the combination. Power is a scalar quantity or vector quantity? Scalar. Okay. So power will be directly added, na? Huh? What is resultant power? ये दोनों का Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
uh, rating they have not given anywhere yes sir whenever rating is not given then we have to take 220 volt but so they have given 220 okay it's 119 it's okay i saw 119 so this is that तो इसका रेजिस्टेंस मिलेगा मुझे इसका रेजिस्टेंस मिलेगा आर वन आर टू आर थ्री इसका रेजिस्टेंस मिलेगा ये वोल्टेज बी ले लेता हूँ मतलब टू ट्वेंटी सो फ्रॉम दिस कैन आई फाइन करंट फ्लोइंग तो टोटल रेजिस्टेंस इनटू करंट विल बी टोटल रेजिस्टेंस इनटू टोटल करंट विल बी टोटल पावर आई स्क्वेर आर यस दैट इज वन मेथड Second method is these two bulbs are in parallel. Correct, ma'am? Yes, sir. So what will be the same voltage? Parallel means voltage is same. Yes, voltage is same. If voltage is same, resistance is same only. So its power, its power, same, same, will be equal, ma'am. Yes, sir. So two hundred, two hundred is four hundred. नहीं वो लॉजिक से आप तो गड़बड़ है बट मैं मेरे मेथड से करता हूँ. So I am finding R one. I am finding R two. R one is इसका रेटिंग वोल्टेज that is two twenty upon B square upon R. Total voltage and total resistance. I am finding I is V square upon R. That will be the best one. Now P is V square by R. Therefore R is V square by P. So R one will be two twenty into two twenty upon two hundred. R two is also same. Two twenty into 220 upon 200. Clearly, you can see these two are in parallel, equal resistances. So, if we x lay, then if we be x, then I will get it. So, what will be R parallel? Will it be x by 2? Yes, sir. X by 2 means 200 into 2, 220 into 200, 220 into 200 into 2. One two zero, so I can cancel. 2 into 11, 2 into 11, so 121. Okay. Yes, sir. What will be R three? It is two twenty into two twenty upon R uh, V square upon R V square upon power four hundred one zero two zero one zero two zero answer two into eleven two into eleven. That is also one twenty one. So total resistance. It's one twenty one plus one twenty one, so two times one twenty one. Correct? Yes, sir. So total power is total voltage square upon R total. total yes, sir. Total is two twenty into two twenty, and this is two into one twenty one, two into eleven. Now be eleven into ye ten, eleven into eleven, eleven into two. So two hundred watt, okay. Answer followed now. Two hundred watt. Yes, sir. So till one twenty five, we have done every all. Any more doubt? No, sir. So one to one twenty five, I have cleared your doubt. In case those who have not reached till that Thursday, you can ask me the doubt. Please complete. So Wednesday, or Tuesday, and Wednesday, may additional seventy five. So two hundred should be done by that Thursday. One to two hundred, may say I will give you MCQs on Friday's day. Just complete. So new chapter, I can start for that. Again, again, I am suggesting stick to the planner, stick to the doubt solving. Then things will become very simple. 
if you run away from these two things planner and doubt solving then it can become at times difficult Can I hear this? Yes, sir. On new page, we'll write it in. Magnetic field due to electric current magnetic field due to electric current new chapter here. Please. It's the third chapter we have started from part. Actually, first is wave optics, then electro, then current, then this chapter. I started with electro, current, now this. Yes, sir. Have you heard about oyster? A scientist named oyster. He told that whenever there is current flowing through conductor, there will be magnetic field in its vicinity. Correct, na? Hello? Yes, sir. When? Current is passed through conductor, then magnetic field is produced in the vicinity of conductor in the form of concentric circle concentric circle this we have done in lower classes now circle can be anti clockwise circle can be clockwise this direction of circle is found by right hand thumb just write only this much Only this much write down, oyster experiment. This will not come in the exam. I have just written so that you understand. If current is passed, conductor ka aju baju mein field hai. Conductor ke upar field nahi. So when current is passed through conductor, then magnetic field is produced in the vicinity of conductor in the form of concentric circles.
dança. Have you heard about right hand thumb rule? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is right hand thumb rule? Sir, if your thumb points in the current, then your other four fingers point in the direction of the magnetic field. So, can I say like this? Imagine conductor to be held by right hand. Then if thumb points in the direction of current, then curled finger represents the direction of magnetic field. Correct, na? Yes. Okay. Right and thumb. Very important because this magnetic field is vector quantity. So to get direction, we require right hand thumb. Imagine a conductor. To be held with right hand. Imagine a conductor to be held with right hand, such that thumb points in the direction of current. Then. Curled fingers indicate the direction of magnetic field. If conductor is carrying current in upward direction, tell me direction of magnetic field clockwise or anti-clockwise. Hello, clockwise or anti-clockwise? Anti-clockwise. Clockwise, correct. Anti-clockwise. That means if P is point on the left hand side and Q is on the right hand side. So feel that P is going inward or coming outward by right hand. Yes, say. For Q it will come out. Uh, for P it will go in. Yes. For P it is going in. Q coming out. Absolutely right. So out for P it is coming out. Out is dot. In is represented by cross. So this is inward and this is outward. Correct. Copy that one two more diagram I am drawing. Then our actual chapter will start from Byatt Towards Law. Copy to this. June, July, August, September. So June, I think I'll be able to complete this magnetic field. July, magnetism, EMI, AP. August will be wave optics. September, your portion will get over. Part 2. October, November, December, only revision, revision, revision.
dansa. So wait, I'm copying the diagram. Yes, sir. Done. Is it correct? Now. Direction of field here. What is it? Again, please. The thumb. Tangential or in the direction of current at the top. Imagine from here. So how you are finding the direction? I am finding my palm is going. Inward from downstairs. Is it inward? Yes, sir. For this case, check. Outward. So, if current is block, field is inward. Current is anti, field is outward. Right. Draw this two diagram. Done, sir. Quiet. The words. Bad swords were actually two brothers working on this magnetic field together. The so same law was proved by even Ampere and one scientist named Laplace. But they submitted the paper first, therefore, it is given by Sword's law. Conductor can be of any shape, na? Wire is flexible. I can have conductor of any shape. So consider a conductor of any shape carrying current I. Let DL be the elemental length of conductor. P be a point at a distance R near conductor such that line joining DL and P make angle theta. Can you tell me direction of field here? Inward or outward at P? Yes, inward or outward? Yes. Inward, na? It's a diagram, bana.
कंडक्टर ऑफ एनी शेप कैरिंग करण आई एशोन इन द फिगर एल एलिमेंटल लेंथ ऑफ कंडक्टर एट अ डिस्टेंस स्मॉल आर फ्रॉम कंडक्टर फ्रॉम पीएल The angle made by PL and line joining P. And then, therefore, according to Bayer's the words law. Yes, just write this much. According to complete complete part. According to Bayard's law, the magnitude, the magnitude of magnetic induction due to elemental length pl comma pd is directly proportional to first current flowing through conduct denoted by i second elemental length of conductor denoted by pl so sine of angle between pl and Line joining P. That is sine theta, and inversely proportional 
to the square of distance one upon r copy this four point Done, sir. So we got PD proportional to three things and inversely proportional to R square. So DB proportional to current I into DL into sine theta upon R square. So DB is some constant into I DL. Sine theta upon r square, where mu naught upon 4 pi is 10 raised to minus 5 Weber per ampere meter, and mu naught is called as permeability of free space. Is called as permeability of free space. Right. Write this one. Then no. Resultant magnetic field B is integration of B.
Everybody has done? Yes, sir. So please put your effort to complete some number till some number 25 of current. 200 of current. Derive expression for magnetic field at center of circular coil. Derive expression for magnetic field at center of circular coil. This is suppose circular coil. We want to find magnetic field at the center of circular coil. So consider a circular coil with center O, radius R, carrying current I as shown in the figure, D L be the elemental length of the coil, angle between D L and line joining theta uh, center O will be theta equal to 90. Can you tell me direction of field here? Inward or outward? Inward. Inward, sir. Okay, just draw this diagram. After drawing the diagram, you will copy statement. Consider a circular coil with center O comma radius capital R carrying current I as shown in the figure. Let DL be the elemental length of coil. The angle between DL and line joining center in bracket theta equals to According to bias towards law EB equals to mu naught I DL sine theta upon 4 pi R square. Just complete till this.
I think done. Done, sir. We got still DB. Now here, theta is 90 degree and R is radius. So my DB will become mu naught IDL sine 90 upon 4 pi capital R square. So DB is mu naught IDL sine 90 is 1 upon 4 pi R square. Therefore, resultant magnetic field comma B equal to integration of PB. So this is integration of mu naught IDL upon 4 pi R square. Mu naught upon 4 pi I upon R square is constant into dl but integration of dl see all dl 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 if i add it will become circumference yes. that is 2 pi r which is called circumference of coil so d is mu naught upon 4 pi i upon r square into 2 pi r pi pi 1 r 2 2 so b equals to mu naught i upon 2 r copy this is formula for magnetic field at the center of coil mu naught i upon 2 r Done, 
one more line. Huh? So what will be equal to mu not i upon two r? Correct. Everybody is yes, sir. One line. For n turns of coil. For n turns of coil. B will be mu naught n i because current will now flow through n turn n i upon two r. This is expression for magnetic field at the center of circular coil. Today we'll stop here. That's all for today. Next class, when you are coming, see to it that you have 